we try it all guys to bring you a video with both of us in it anyway uh we screen recorded on facetime no audio we screen recorded on facebook messenger no audio we anyway. try to record on zoom meeting no audio it just was a mess today so work with us guys thank you okay what's going on everybody um first and foremost major shout out to pam um I am the trainer in that trainer trainee video that was posted and went viral on Pam's page. Um, I was notified by somebody that I know about the video yesterday. I reached out to Pam yesterday. She got back right back with me. And we are just trying to put the whole story out there because only one side is being viewed and, and shown and people are forming opinions and making assumptions on something that they really don't know what was going on in the truck. And I mean, I, I hate that this has to come to this, but I just want my truth to be told. So long story short, um, that situation is three years old, okay? Um, I knew her from truck driving school. We started on the same day, finished the same day. Um, at the end of the day, once we finished truck driving school, you know, we had befriended each other <clears throat> in school on Facebook and didn't really communicate too much. Um, what ended up happening was she went her way, I went mine, you know. Um, you know, we would sometimes post and, and comment on each other's posts on Facebook, okay. So she went out with her dude on the truck and he had been driving for some time or whatever. Anyway, she allowed him to do all of the skills. So they broke up and then she reached out to me at that point asking if I could uh, help her regain her skill sets by getting her a job at the company I was with at the time and um, putting her on the truck with me and showing her skills so she could have income for her kids, which I'm all for, you know what I mean? Single mom, okay, cool, I got you, you know what I mean? Not a problem. So I ended up putting her on the truck, okay? Got her to, got her the job at my job at the time. And um, I don't know, for whatever reason, you know, things was cool at first. And then as time went on, things started you know getting I don't know but um at the end of the day uh my life was being threatened okay she was doing illegal activities on the truck um smoking weed uh drinking liquor um canceling loads you know going behind my back because I was the one you know first seat whatever you want to call it first I was the first seat you know she couldn't do none of the back end or anything so I was handling all of that you know so she would go behind my back calling dispatch saying oh you know well we not taking that load and so they looking at me crazy you know she was trying to destroy me basically you know what i mean and um i don't know if she has any mental illness but in my opinion it was a whole narcissistic situation that i've never experienced in my life and i was i felt threatened and i felt very unsafe and i informed the company i wasn't being believed so i had to make video recordings so that people could truly understand what was really happening. You know what I mean? Because I'm I'm the bigger individual, so of course, you know, people are gonna look at me like the villain. However, people don't understand, people are out here sick in their heads playing mind games in these trucks at times with people. For whatever the reason may be, I have no idea. You know what I mean? Because I'm out here to make money, I'm out here to be safe, and I'm out here to provide a service for, for everybody. You know what I mean? So I, I take my career and my profession very seriously, you know? So when this when this bubbled up yesterday for me, I was just so thrilled. You know, I, I had a feeling it was gonna go viral at some point, but I just thought it was gonna happen three years ago. You know what I mean? But for whatever reason, here we are, you know? But again, I appreciate Pam because these types of situations need to be exposed, you know? We as truck drivers know how tight it is in these trucks and sharing this space with people and things can go left very quickly. You know what I mean? You don't know what type of pressure people are under. You don't know what they got going on at home. You don't know what they bringing back to the truck. You don't know nothing. You know what I mean? All you know is get get the load, get it there safe and back. That's, that's my goal, safety first. You know what I'm saying? So once I felt my life being threatened and things, you know, weren't going the way I thought that they were originally supposed to be going, 
it was time to, you know, cut cut ties. You know what I'm saying? But again, it was it was a mind manipulation game being played on so many different levels. Like I could go on and on about this, but I'm trying to keep it short and sweet because I just want my side of the truth to be told. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, you know, that video was out there of me, you know, about the snap on old girl and, and, and definitely was definitely about to go there, you know. Before I started uh, truck driving, I was an amateur boxer. So, and she was aware of that. So I felt like she was provoking me to try to take me to a place where I was gonna lose everything. You know what I'm saying? She had lied to the company that we was working with at the time, saying that I had charges. All types of craziness was going on. You know what I mean? I don't have any charges. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm good. You know what I mean? But I don't know for whatever reason, I don't know if it was a jealousy thing, but there was absolutely um, nothing going on on that level, you know, with, with her and I. Um, again, I was I was definitely trying to just look out for someone I considered a friend at that time, you know what I mean, and help a, a single black mother out here regain her skill sets and be independent, you know. So the the way that I'm being shown, I, I just I just want to clear up, uh, you know, all the assumptions and comments that have been. Uh, put under the video of, of the viral video of the trainer <laughs> trainee situation big shout out to pam though man for real yo because she she trying to make things right you know what i'm saying so thank you pam y'all be blessed be safe and um just be careful out here man because you just never know you never know but i'm rolling solo dolo from here on out baby <laughs> i'm a holler though Globes getting delivered ain't shit i'm a problem right now now I'm a motherfucking problem. Ain't nobody making no bread. Ain't no moves getting made. So I get happy again. Now. You walk on eggshells around me. Sick of this. Fuck out of here. Fuck everybody else. I'm in the land of my fucking ancestors. It's a beautiful fucking day. Gorgeous. It's not too hot. It's cloudy. It's partly cloudy. The sun not scorching me. I think it's a fucking great day. It's a beautiful fucking day for anything to happen. Like... <laughs> Yo, like my nigga. Like, I have to be alone? I don't have to be 
be alone. Like, <sighs> over some fuck shit. Yo, like, <sighs> y'all got the wrong bitch, because I don't care if I live or die out this motherfucker. I think I've already made that evidently clear. Please, Lord, give her the tools that she needs to be healed. She needs healing. She needs love. She needs support. God, I just ask you, you wrap your arms around her and heal her. Whatever she, she may need you for, Lord. I don't know the depths of this. I've never dealt with this. I don't, I don't know this, Lord. I don't know this. Only you, God, only you, only you, Lord, can, can, can bring her from this. Only you. This is beyond my, my, my control. I cannot. I, I can't. This is your doings, Lord. Please. Please come down and heal her. My God. Jesus, please, please heal her. Lord Jesus. Come into this truck and, and, and get all the demons, demonic spirits, negative energies away from me, this truck, and out of her mind, Lord, please. I ask you, Lord, protect us all. Amen.
young ladies in the video that was um, on my page and the caption read uh, trainer throws trainee off the truck one of the young ladies reached out to me with her side of the story and I'm going to be sharing that side of the story with you guys I'm trying to figure out how to do it uh, without without being too involved because this thing is kind of almost it's, it's turning messy to me it's turning it's, it's giving messy and I don't do messy well I don't do it well at all like I'm one of those people when I feel like it's, it's getting messy I take flight. Like I, I just don't want to deal with it. Um. However, I do feel like it's my obligation to show the other side or to show part of the truth since I took it upon myself to post the original, well I don't want to say original, the other side video right because we all know it's just three sides one is your side my side and the truth so i feel y'all just don't know how i'm feeling right now i feel so fucking numb right now because i think that you know i, I, I think i let my emotions and my cause which is my non-profit to get the best of me. Um, yes, I know I have been saying, you know, there may be more to the story. I use the video as context to what could happen to a trainee on a trainer's truck. I was trying to be as open-minded about it as I could. But I, I think I should have just I should I shouldn't I shouldn't have posted the video. I should have I shouldn't have posted the video. I really think I should have just left well enough alone. Um. So for sure, for sure, I won't be posting any more videos like that. People people tag me in things all the time. People send me things in my DMs all the time. But it was something about that video, which is why I'm saying it was my emotions and my cause, which is my nonprofit, which led me to post the video. Because of the caption that was written on the video, which I did not write. So I'm kind of upset with myself right now. And um, once I share this last tidbit of information that I have, um, I video chatted with the young lady earlier today, but the video didn't have any sound. So she's going to call me back and we're going to have a conversation so she can tell her side of the story because I don't want to just post the videos and you guys still decide to pick a side without actually seeing a person, hearing a person in the, and then she can give you the context. I, I, I'm not providing any context because it's not, it's really not my story to tell. Right? You say I did right by posting the video. True. True I am key. Very true. But I'm just not that I'm just not that them that kind of person. Especially since I talked to the young lady and got the other story. It kind of makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Which I did go on my live. I'm, I'm actually going to post some snippets from my lives. My last two IG lives. Where I said 
it could have been it, it could be more than what it appears to be you know i was telling y'all let's not form an opinion because i was really trying to stick to what could happen between a trainer and a trainee as opposed to what was actually happening in the video like that was really really not my concern like what was happening in the video i was just using context you know what i'm saying if this happens to you what should have happened if this is the case if that was an actual really live video and i knew all the details my stance would still be the same my stance would still be the same if i just looked at the video somebody gave me the video and told me this is facts this is exact this is exactly what happened what i said about the video would not change that would not change thank you queen ragamuffin that would not change i'm standing on that 10 toes down i am a for what's i'm, I'm for what's right and i said that I, I thank god that i said it on my live so i downloaded the live and i'm going to show that i said that it's not it's not a trainer or trainee thing it's not a truck driver thing it's not a police thing it's not a teacher thing it's a people thing plain and simple it's a people thing um and i guess i looked at it from a business standpoint because at the end of the day for me social media is business i didn't look at it from a personal standpoint even though my homeboy jada was trying to tell me you know what i'm saying i had to call him last night and apologize and the reason why he was able to see something that i couldn't was because he was in that situation before personally i have never been in any a situation like that i i, I just can't wrap my mind around and, which I don't know why I can't wrap my mind around it because we see it all the time in social media and on the news people create things, they fake cry they fake do shit, they very manipulative but where I got the video from I, I automatically assume they was a reliable source because it's another organization and in my mind I figured they did their due diligence before they posted the video but apparently not apparently not they didn't do their due diligence right and that's still no excuse for me i should have waited you know what i'm saying for more evidence to come to the light and which it did so i don't want to say too much right now you know what i'm saying because i'm going to give y'all all the full details about it later on and then I'm going to be done with it. I'm going to be done with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to turn my mentions off. I don't want nobody tagging me in nothing. I don't want nobody tagging me in nothing. You know what I'm saying? If you send me a video or something you think I should see, I'm going to delete the video like I've been doing. Because in my mind, if it's meant for me to see, it'll run across my timeline. I don't need nobody doing... You know what I'm saying? I understand people, you know, want to help others and they figure I could probably help somebody. But if I ain't see it, if it wasn't meant for me to see, then I, I'm, I'm just going to call it that. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't meant for me to see that. So that's how I'm, that's how I'm, I'm going to be looking at things. You know what I'm saying? I, maybe I shouldn't look at it like that. But that's just how I feel right now. That's just how I feel right now. You know what I'm saying? And right now, it's definitely not even a time for me to even be dealing with nothing like this. I ain't even in the, mic, the right mind frame to be even dealing with something like this. You know what I'm saying? I got my own family tragedy going on. But at the same time, you know, the show must go on, so to speak. I don't want to say show, but you got to keep working the bills don't stop life don't stop
and it's my responsibility to to to. I ain't. I don't, I'm not gonna say clear her name because you're gonna have some people that still. When I post the video, you're gonna have some people that still gonna gonna go against the grain. So I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm 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 clearing anybody's name, but I'm gonna show the other side. I'm gonna show the other side and let y'all be the judge. And I'm gonna leave my two cents out of it. That's for sure. One thing for certain, and two things for sure. I'm gonna post the video, and I'm gonna let y'all form y'all opinion. And I'm I'm posting it with the permission of the young lady, because I asked her. You know what I'm saying? Are you sure? She was like, Yes, I want it. I want my side of the story to go out, and I want it to go viral. I said, Okay. Okay, we'll do that. No problem. No problem. It came from my platform and it's going to end on my platform. That's just how that's going to go. Um, you think I'm doing it right? I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Queen. I'm just for what's right now. I got a conscience. I got a conscience, you know, and I was sitting here thinking like, damn, did I, ex you know, did I exploit her? Like, I, I, I don't want to be that person. That ain't my thing. That ain't my thing. I don't want people to think like I exploited somebody because for one, I already had, I already got the followers on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't need, I don't, followers is not the, it's the least of my worries. That's like the bottom of my list when it comes to followers. And I even promote that. You know what I'm saying? You don't need a lot of followers to create content. You don't need a lot of followers to get brand endorsements and deals. So followers was the least of my concern. And you just don't know how a person or people are going to react until you put it out there. You know what I'm saying? I take hits all the time with my content. With just me. Don't have nothing to do with nobody else. I put my content out there as, as clearly as a skit, as a joke. And you still have, I still have people coming on to the content. Sharing their opinions on what they think to be true. When buddy, it's clearly a whole comedy skit. It's a whole parody. So that's to be expected. I'm used to it. But the young lady who sent me the information in the video who I talked to this morning, she not even on social media like that. This is something totally new for her. And, and, to, and to give you some more context, the video is three years old. The video is three years old. This young lady has gone on with her life. She's still in trucking, my owner operator. And all of a sudden this video just pop up. She living her, her best life and all of a sudden this video just, just pop up. Out of nowhere. It's crazy. It's crazy. So I know for a fact, I'm gonna stick to what I know, and that's gonna be content that don't have nothing to do with nobody else. Period. Period. And that's just how that's gonna go. That's just how that's gonna go. I'm kinda like, I can't wait till I get all this information together when I stop, when I shut down tonight. So I can put it together. I'm gonna share it with y'all. I'm not gonna really put no caption on it. And I'm gonna be done. And I'm gonna be done. I'm gonna be done. That's gonna be the end of that. I promised her that I would go to bat for her. And that's just what I'm gonna do. If I say I'm gonna do something, that's what it is. 
That's what it is. she wanted on the video she knew it was not true and she was able to write what she wanted on the video and, and that shit that's it because you can't remove what's on the video you know what i'm saying not, unless you 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 into some high tech shit but once you put that caption on there that's it people gonna go with what is on the caption So this is this has also taught me a very uh uh which I already knew, but now for sure my eyes is gonna be open. It's gonna be open. When I read something, ah uh, listen, I'ma just bypass that shit. I'm gonna bypass it. Unless it's a full video of from beginning to end, it's all open for it's all open for, for an opinion. No no facts. I don't know. No judgment. I, I don't know. Don't ask me, girl. I don't know. I, I Listen, I have no idea. I saw the video, yeah. That's just like the video that's going around now with the, the, the guy and the, uh, the, the baby mama. She started, you know, y'all know y'all seen the video. Everybody talking about it. You got people forming an opinion or they're judging the video based off of just that little snippet of him saying he only brought McDonald's for his child. Baby mama getting upset and I seen a video earlier. She released her, her, her side of the story, right? And then I read the comments and people are still like, nah girl, da 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 da, right? I have my own opinion about the video which I'm not gonna share. And if he decide to drop a video, it's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna have people that's gonna be on his side. And you're gonna have people that's gonna be on her side. There's nothing you can do about that. You can't control that. You can't control it. So I, I don't know. That's why I'm just gonna stick to my own content. 
I'm gonna stick to the educational, inspirational, and entertaining shit. That way nothing out I post can be taken out of context unless you just a goofy, a goofball, and you choosing to believe that, you know, what I'm putting out is real, and I know I ain't that good of a goddamn actor. I know I ain't that good of a damn actor that you actually believe what I'm doing in the video is real. Right? So, um, y'all stay tuned uh, for the updates. Y'all be easy. Be careful about what you post. Be careful about what it is that you say. You know what I'm saying? Unless you just don't give a fuck, and that's different. You don't give a fuck, then that's different. But I feel like I have a certain responsibility to my followers. You know what I'm saying? Because I do have a platform. I have a certain responsibility to the trucking community to give y'all the real keep it real and to give y'all the truth to the best of my knowledge that's all I can do I am human and for those who might feel I'm at fault I ain't mad at you I ain't gonna blame you I can see how you got that but we gonna get the updates up and we gonna move forward all right? It's all a life lesson. Thank you, Troy. You know what I'm saying? That's all we can, that's all I can do, y'all. That that's one thing I know, I ain't perfect. And guess what, I tell, I'll be the first one to tell you, you know what, I fucked up right there, girl. I sure did. I sure did, I'ma own my shit. Cause I don't wanna go back and forth with you about it when I know I'm damn wrong. That's too much time and energy. I fucked up. How can I make it right? How can I make it right? If you say I can't make it right, then okay. I did my best. And I'm going to move on. That's just how this situation going to go too. This situation going to go just like that. I apologize to the young lady in the video for even posting the video. That's gonna be the when, when when she called me back and I can get some audio. That's gonna be the first thing I say to her. Again. That's gonna be the first thing that I say to her again. Cause I'm not that bitch. I'm not in the business of destroying people's lives. I'm not in the business of taking nobody down, even if I don't like you. Because to be honest with you, when I don't like you, I don't even want to talk about you. I don't want to see you. I don't want to think about you. I don't want you on my timeline. I'm blocking everything about you. I'm one of those. You got some people that they don't like you and they'll still follow you. Keeping up with your every move. I ain't never understood that. Bitch, you don't fuck with me. Why you following me? I'm the total opposite. Oh, oh, I, I don't like you. I don't like you. You don't like me. So let's, let's block each other. Let's, that's what we're going to do. Let's stay out of each other's way. I can know all the dirt about you. You won't never hear it from me. I'm going in the grave with, with it. Especially if we was friends. And just because we fall out now, I'm going to expose your shit? Nah, I don't do stuff like that. I don't do stuff like that. So... Um, thank you, Dark Handsome Man. Dark Handsome. And Troy, yeah. I mean, that's just what it is, man. Y'all being an outlet for me right now because I'm able to get all of how I feel out. I'm purging right now about this situation. I'm purging right now about this situation. Because it's kind of hard for me to put my words into uh, context 
when I'm creating the video. So if y'all notice, like a lot of times when I'm talking, I'm doing videos like this, it'll come from a live because I feed off of y'all energy because you guys will ask questions that I might've forgot. And that's another reason not to take things at face value. Cause you can ask somebody something and they may have forgotten to tell you that particular part and it's not that it's malicious. They just forgot. I do it all the time. I go back and look at my videos. I'm like, damn, I left that part out. Damn, I left that part out. But what can I do? What can I do? Can't do nothing about it. But anyway, y'all, I'm finna go through a way station. Uh, stay tuned. I'll be dropping the videos later, okay? I love y'all.